So within Throne and Liberty, you can morph into certain creatures, which not only help with exploration, but can also disguise you if you want to pass through enemies unnoticed. In this video guide, we will explain everything you need to know about morphing in Throne and Liberty. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'm giving away 1000 plus Lucent, which you can spend in game within the store to buy those pretty skins. Now to win it's as simple as this, drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. Winners will be picked from the comment section and announced in a few days, so good luck everybody. So given this game is brand new to most players on this side of the world, I have a feeling many players may be a little confused about the morphing aspect of this game. Within this guide, I will tell you everything you need to know about morphs, what they are used for, as well as how you get them. So there are four different types of morphs in this game. We have dash morphs, glide morphs, swim morphs, and those special morphs, each offering different things and are key to exploration within the game. Now the dash, the glide, and the swim morphs are morphs you will unlock more or less before you get out of the tutorial of this game. But with each morph, there is much, much more on offer here. So let's check them out. So the dash morph is basically that. On most games, to dash or sprint, you have to press in a certain button. Within Throne and Liberty, that certain button on your controller is your left thumbstick. This will enter you into that morph mode, where you will turn into a ground beast, which sees you and allows you to move along the ground and that terrain faster. It's basically your sprint in this game. You turn into a beast, pretty cool. Now the glide morph is a creature you will transform into when double jumping from a high enough spot. And then guys we have the swim morph, which you'll morph into automatically upon you entering any body of water. But there is more to this than meets the eye, as all these morphs can also be leveled up. And while to level them up is actually quite simple. All you have to do guys, is use said morph. Now these do level separately, so using your dash morph, which I'd say you'll probably level up quickest as you're always going to be using this to move around, this won't level up your swim morph, nor your gliding morph. To level up your swim morph, you need to be doing a few lengths in any water. For the glide morph, obviously you need to be using it while you're in that air. The more you use it, the more it levels up. But yes, they do not level together, they level individually as you use them. And with each level guys you unlock more of the current passives which are listed upon you clicking on said section which you can see here on screen. Some offer more on certain levels than others but hey it's just the way it works. Now under each section of dash, glide and swim you will see there are multiple different creatures that you can unlock. And these are unlocked via doing various different things. Some are skins you can purchase from the store, while others I'm certain you can unlock via simply killing and taking out said creatures you find within the open world. Now enemies that drop skins is never a guarantee I don't think, uh, well not the simple ones anyway, it's a random drop chance, but they can drop. Others are unlocked via you doing certain objectives and missions. And this I believe is the precedent for all the dash, the glide and the swim morphs. So what about the growth level? What is this and how does it work? Well, it's also quite simple. Within each morph category of dash, glide and swim, you will see these individual morphs you can turn into or select. Now, each of these individual morphs have a certain growth points tied to them, ranging from what I've seen from a three to a 30. And the way this works is naturally how you think. If you have a morph with 30 growth points, it doesn't mean that when equipped, your growth level will automatically be a 30. That's not how it works. A certain number of growth points are needed in order for you to unlock growth levels, and it's different for each section here. And it also works in a sense of as soon as you unlock in different morphs, the growth points are automatically added into raising that growth level of said morph category. Even if you don't have said morph equipped, that does not matter. Once they are unlocked, the growth points are added into the overall growth level tally of points required to raise this number. It's as simple as that. Now there's also the special morph tab, uh, which you'll see a play section and a shape shift section. What these are, are basically things you can take the form of. Now under the shape shift tab, here there are a whole list of things you can transform into on the move. Now, in regards to traits and what they can actually do, uh, as far as I'm aware, they're limited to just moving and jumping. As far as I'm aware, you can't fight while you're in these shape shift forms. Well, not, well, in the early stages of the game, I'm at anyway. That may change later on, though. I can't confirm that as of right now. 
but hey, they're still useful for other things. So what these are great at is the fact that when you morph into them, for instance, I'm here the Goblin Butcher, if you use this morph while amongst other Goblin enemies, they leave you alone and won't try and kick your ass, making life easier for you to stroll through said area with said enemies you've morphed into. So that's a great, great thing for these. So how do you actually get these shape-shifting morphs? Well guys, it's as simple as taking out the enemies and hoping they drop from them. I have the scarab which I got randomly earlier on in the game via killing scarabs in an early field mission. Uh, and then I got the goblin randomly in the open world when a big old goblin enemy spawned next to me which took some beating on my behalf, I won't lie to you, running for my life and shooting him with my arrows. But upon me taking him out guys, he dropped the shape shifting farm which I picked up and then was available for me to shapeshift into whenever I wanted to. Now to morph into these there are two different ways as far as I'm aware, but as you know this game, because well, it's early release on console this side of the world anyway, is very very buggy and sometimes won't let you transform into what you actually want to transform into. But the first way to do this is to go into the morph menu, across to that special tab, then highlight the shapeshift uh, tab 2. Then guys, on the morph you have unlocked, at the bottom of your screen, you'll see a button where it says, hold to instantly morph. If you do this guys, it should kick you out of your menu and should have instantly morphed into said creature. Now sometimes this option just disappears from this menu, sometimes it reappears, sometimes it reappears in menus where you can't even use this thing, it's completely weird. The menu and UIs in this game are so so buggy, it's crazy and hopefully there's a patch soon which fixes this, but yeah. This is the first way you can shapeshift into these. Again, going into the um, morphing tab, then going across to special, down to the shapeshift. Make sure you select and highlight said morph, and then you should instantly morph into it. The other way I found is to open up your ring menu, which on default on controller, I believe is that left trigger. I changed this to both my thumbsticks in, uh, but either or, there's a shapeshift option here, which for me right now doesn't seem to be working on console whatsoever. But hey, hopefully they fix this soon too, so you can shapeshift on the fly much much easier than going into your menu and using that shapeshifting form there. But there we have it guys. But yes, everything you need to know about morphing in this game and well I hope the video helped you out. If you did leave a like, it really helps me out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.